Good evening, everyone. So thankful for you joining us tonight for our evening prayer service. I'm Darrell Thompson Powell, pastor of Resurrection Lutheran in Franklin Park. And it's a joy to have you joining us, whether it's your first time or you're returning. We're glad that you are here with us tonight. This is a time for rest, for relaxation, for reconnecting with God in the midst of a busy day. So we we'll hope you will be able to find that comfort and that connection during this time. All of the parts that you will need to participate with, all the words of of what we're going through will be available on screen. With that said, let us begin. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being and you set light in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures, we give you glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let's read responsively from Psalm 94. O Lord, you God of vengeance, you God of vengeance, shine forth. Rise up, O judge of the earth. Give to the proud what they deserve. O Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked exult? They pour out their arrogant words. All the evildoers boast. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. They kill the widow and the stranger. They murder the orphan. And they say, the Lord does not see. The Lord of Jacob does not perceive. Understand, O dullest of the peoples, fools, when will you be wise? He who planted the ear, does he not hear? He who formed the eye, does he not see? He who disciplines the nations, he who teaches knowledge to humankind, does he not chastise? The Lord knows our thoughts that they are but an empty breath. Happy are those whom you discipline, O Lord, and whom you teach out of your law, giving them respite from days of trouble until us pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not forsake his people. He will not abandon his heritage. For justice will return to the righteous, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who rises up for me against the wicked? Who stands up for me against evildoers? If the Lord has not, had not been my help, my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence. When I thought my foot is slipping, your steadfast love, O Lord, held me up. When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. Can wicked rulers be allied with you, those who contrive mischief by statute? They band together against the life of the righteous and condone the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold and my God the rock of my refuge. 
he will repay them for their iniquities and wipe them out for their wickedness. The Lord our God will wipe them out. A reading from Ruth, the fourth chapter. Now, in earlier times in Israel, for the redemption and transfer of property to become final, one party took off his sandal and gave it to the other. This was the method of legalizing transactions in Israel. So the guardian, redeem, guardian redeemer said to Boaz, Buy it yourself! And he removed his sandal. Then Boaz announced to the elders and all the people, Today you are witnesses that I have bought from Naomi all the property of Elimelech, Kilion, and Mahlon. I have also acquired Ruth the Moabite, Mahlon's widow, as my wife in order to maintain the name of the dead with his property so that his name will not disappear from among his family or from his hometown. Today you are witnesses. Then the elders and all the people at the gate said, We are witnesses. May the Lord make the woman who is coming into your home like Rachel and Leah, who together built up the family of Israel. May you have standing in Ephrathah and be famous in Bethlehem. Through the offering the Lord gives you by his, this young woman, may your family be like that of Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah. So Boaz took Ruth and she became his wife. Then he made love to her. The Lord enabled her to conceive and she gave birth to a son. The women said to Naomi, Praise be to the Lord, who this day has not left you without a guardian redeemer. May he become famous throughout Israel. He will renew your life and sustain you in your old age. For your daughter-in-law, who loves you and who is better to you than seven sons, has given him birth. Then Naomi took the child in her arms and cared for him. The women living there said, Naomi has a son. And they named him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, the father of David. This then is the family line of Perez. Perez was the father of Hezron. Hezron, the father of Ram. Ram, the father of Aminadab. Aminadab, the father of Nashon. Nashon, the father of Salmon. Salmon, the father of Boaz. Boaz, the father of Obed. Obed, the father of Jesse. And Jesse, the father of David. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Let us say together our canticle. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you.
from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebear, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. A reading from Luke, the fourth chapter. Jesus came to Nazareth where he had been raised. As he always did on the Sabbath, he went to the meeting place. When he stood up to read, he was handed the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll, he found the place where it was written, God's Spirit is on me. He's chosen me to preach the message of good news to the poor, sent me to announce pardon to prisoners and recovery of sight to the blind, to set the burdened and battered free, to announce this is God's time to shine. He rolled up the scroll, handed it back to the assistant and sat down. Every eye in the place was on him, intent. Then he started in. You've just heard the scripture make history. It came true just now in this place. All who were there watching and listening were surprised at how well he spoke. But they also said... <laughs> Isn't this Joseph's son the one we've known since he was, like, just a kid? He answered, I suppose you're going to quote the proverb, Doctor, go heal yourself. Do here in your hometown what we've heard you did in Capernaum. Well, let me tell you something. No pro prophet is ever welcomed in his hometown. Isn't it a fact that there were many widows in Israel at the time of Elijah during that, during that three and a half years of drought when famine devastated the land? But the only widow to whom Elijah was sent was in Sarepta in Sidon? And there were many lepers in Israel at the time of the prophet Elisha but the only one cleansed was Naaman, the Syrian. Well, that said everyone in the meeting place, seething with anger. They threw him out, banished him from the village, then took him to a mountain cliff at the edge of the village to throw him to his doom. But he gave them the slip and was on his way. We take this time now in prayer. We will uh, pause after most of the petitions so that you can lift up your own personal prayers. There will also be a time at the end, towards the end of the prayers, where there will be quiet where you can add any prayer concerns that you might like or speak them aloud. So let us pray. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here or virtually their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. for the health of the creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy.
giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints. We commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you. Through Christ our Lord, to you, O Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with, with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.